Congratulations on all of your survival! They each just won $10,000 in cash. Now you may be wondering how I met the world's biggest YouTuber and also my idol. I got a phone call from a girl telling me she's from Mr. Beast. Now, I thought it was a spam call, so I literally just hung up the phone. Turns out it wasn't a scam, she was actually from Mr. Beast, and I got invited to compete in his latest video. Which brings us to today. So basically, in like two weeks, I'm gonna be in Mr. Beast's video. I don't know what the video's about, we don't find out until we go, but I feel like I need to do some sort of training. If you help me train, if you do these challenges with me, you get 20% of whatever I win in his videos. Oh, that's a good deal. 20% percent of a Tesla? 20% of a million dollars? That's 200 grand. That's at least, yeah. Let's start training. All right, let's do it. For the next hour, we scanned through all of Mr. Beast's most recent videos to find the perfect challenges to get me prepared for the video. So here's the lineup. Buried Alive, Squid Game, Last to Leave the Circle, World's Biggest Shoes, or Running a Marathon with the World's Biggest Shoes, Hide and Seek, and then we're gonna fill your house with slime. No, I don't like that one. All right, it's day one of our training. So the first one we're gonna do, well, it was supposed to be buried alive for 24 hours, but we have a small problem. What's that? Like actually a small problem, I'll show you. I couldn't tell from the picture how big it was. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. <laughs> you might be able to. Yeah, it's a little small. So I ordered a bigger one. It should be coming in the next couple days, but we're gonna come back to Buried Alive later. Mr. Beast's biggest video he's ever made was the Squid Game video. So maybe he's gonna be making a Squid Game 2. I think it would be good practice to do the most famous Squid Game, Red Light, Green Light. Wow. Oh You're supposed to wait until I start. I want to make sure it works. Green light! Red light! Green light! Red light! Oh. Green light! Red light! Green light! Red light! Green light. Red light. Green light, red light. I knew that was gonna be a fast one. <laughs> Green light. <laughs> Game number two, it's a Mr. Beast classic, it's hide and seek. This is how it's gonna work. I'm gonna have the GoPro, you're gonna have the camera, I'm gonna hide anywhere in the house, and if you can't find me in 10 minutes, I win. Give me, uh, how much time do you want to do? Okay, let's go. Nine, oh, that's not eight, a lot of time, man. I have no idea where to hide, this is my own house. Three, two, one. Ready or not, here I come. I hope Steve checks upstairs first. <laughs> that's that's where you hid. You gave me ten seconds. I'm stuck. <laughs> we better hope it's not a. Uh... Hide and seek for this challenge. Game number three. This is a confidence booster. Last to leave the circle. So Mr. Beast had a video where he invited a hundred people to go in a circle. The last one to leave won five hundred thousand dollars. Let's see if I could win this challenge. So this is how it works. Last person or cat to leave the circle wins the challenge. I'm ready to be in here for days. I got two bottles of water. I got snacks. I'm good to go. The time begins now. All right. Good work. I won. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> You're terrible. All right, it is day two of my Mr. Beast training. The uh, coffin came in. I don't know how they fit a coffin in here, but we're about to find out. Oh, there we go. All right. So about a year ago, Mr. Beast buried himself underground in a casket for 50 hours. Well, I don't have 50 hours to do this, but we're gonna do one hour. Steve is gonna start the timer once I crawl inside and get Roxy out. All right, close me up, Steve. Oh, God. Did you start the timer yet? Should I be? Yeah, I've been in here. All 
All right, this is the Brandon cam from inside the coffin. A little bit more narrow than I was expecting. I've been in here for three minutes and I already want to get out. I'm using my metal bottle of water as a pillow. Is it close to an hour yet? We passed the hour mark a while ago. It's been an hour? Yeah, you're like an hour 15. The last one we need until I am fully trained is running a marathon with the world's biggest shoes. It's 95 degrees outside, so I'm not gonna run a marathon, but I am gonna run a full mile with clown shoes on. I found them online, they're kind of hilarious. I'm done. I'm gonna need a couple days. Mr. Beast, I'm coming for whatever challenge you have. Today is finally the day. So I just spent the last five days in my house in quarantine. I just passed an at-home COVID test. Here's the only problem. They still haven't told us anything. So they're gonna send us an email a few hours ahead of time telling us what the video's about and where we're going. Roxy, how do you think this is gonna go? Huh? I just got an email from Mr. Beast. I know what the video is going to be about. So it's going to be a hide and seek video in the middle of the night. So they want me to get there at 10 PM. I don't know if it's going to be like a creepy thing. I don't know if it's going to be like a Halloween kind of a video, but it's going to be hide and seek overnight. Oh my God. All right, guys. So I'm pretty sure we're doing hide and seek in a football stadium. I'm sitting right outside of MetLife Stadium where the New York Jets and the New York Giants play. Yeah, this is gonna be amazing. So they're not gonna let me bring my cameras inside. So wish me luck, guys. I got 100 of my subscribers and I also rented one of the largest malls in the world and locked them inside. The challenge is done. I'm gonna explain everything that happened. So we showed up and they gave us this like blue jumpsuit. We thought it was gonna be like Squid Game 2.0, but it ended up being hide and seek in the world's biggest mall. So it wasn't the football stadium. We get there and they give us this big briefcase, heavy briefcase. I mean, this thing probably weighed like 20 pounds. Yeah. Everywhere you hide, you need to bring the briefcase with you. And they said, if you make Make it 10 hours with your briefcase and you don't get caught, you keep what's inside. Oh, that's cool. So I keep running. I'm in Nickelodeon and I mm. find this construction zone. Okay. So I climb up the concrete and inside there's like this little storage bin and I sat there forever. Before I finish the rest of the story, I have a favor to ask you guys. Everybody after this video, go over to the Mr. Beast video and write in the comments, now don't spam, but write in the comments, bring TFG vlogs back for another video. Maybe Mr. Beast will see it and you guys will see me in another Mr. Beast video. It's around five in the morning and all of a sudden I pick up the radio and it's dripping. I leaned on the pee bottle and the cat popped off. Oh. So for hours I had been just sitting in my own pee. We're four hours in, we still have six hours to go. I have no food, no clothing because I was kind of using my shirt as like a pillow. Yeah. The only thing I have is one more bottle of water, which is like half empty. And then three hours went by and I won. You did it? I won. Yeah, <laughs> all right. <laughs> so I open up the briefcase and you get 20%. Count it up. Holy moly, <laughs> I'm just here. $10,000 inside that briefcase. No way. <laughs> so I finally got to compete in a Mr. Beast video. I even got to meet Mr. Beast. I won the video and we won $10,000. I didn't even have to sit and pee.